thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to take part in such great event. Thank you very much uh, to organizers. And I would like to present uh, this topic about analytical model and simulation for the random motion in arbitrary direction. Uh, I decided to move to the more applicational uh, study here, together with uh, my co-author, oh, sorry, Kuznetsov Alexander Vladimirovich. And uh, uh, here we try to understand what does it mean uh, new parameter in the Bessel operator and uh, what is the meaning of the generalized translation in uh, the uh, Levitan articles. So, uh, the short history. Um, when I try to find uh, some applications of uh, the theory which I uh, studied uh, from analytical point of view, I moved to the, I, I would like, I, I wanted to move to the such uh, something statistical things or something like that. And uh, I uh, started to uh, look in for some applications and I found in very old, oh, sorry, very old uh, paper. It is not uh, actually a paper, it was uh, the newspaper uh, which uh, was uh, published in um, uh, Cambridge, I think, and uh, it is uh, mathematical questions. Uh, in this paper, uh, people asked uh, mathematical questions uh, without answer. And uh, in the next, um, in the next paper, you can uh, find or not an answer. So uh, the first paper, the first question was uh, posed in uh, uh, this. Uh, questions uh, which was written by Crofton and probably it was the first uh, 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 first problem about uh, random motions uh, which was uh, considered from the mathematical point of view. The next was uh, uh, the uh, letter of Pearson which asked about uh, what is uh, the model uh, of uh, this uh, situation when uh, one agent uh, is moved um, in arbitrary direction in each step? Uh, what uh, will be the model of this uh, random motion? And uh, uh, Relay, Lord Relay, answered to Pearson that he uh, has. Uh, already considered such problem from the point of view of uh, the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, moving of the vibration, sound vibration, and the next um, uh, based on uh, relay papers, Crofton, uh, not Crofton, sorry, Kluver. Uh, solved this problem from the mathematical point of view and uh, uh, he uh, used Bessel functions and uh, uh, after that Pearson with his uh, co-author, uh, I think he's uh, his PhD student, uh, they uh, wrote a paper about mathematical theory of random mi uh, migration which uh, was uh, uh, applied to animal migration, the model of animal migration. Next, uh, it was a case uh, on the flat, on the plane, flat case. And next, in uh, the book of Watson, because uh, these models uh, were um, uh, based on Bessel functions. And of course, Watson generalized this model uh, into the case when uh, we have uh, not a plain case but 
space case. Uh, more detailed historical overview can be found in uh, a lot of paper, for example, this one and this one. And uh, next, uh, what application? Uh, there are a lot of application of such problem when uh, agent move uh, uh, to the arbitrary direction in each jump. And uh, for example, it, it is uh, uh, the relay, Lord Relay paper about uh, vibration of sound. Uh, the paper of Ross, uh, who studied diffusion model uh, of the random migration of mosquitoes when he studied uh, the law of spread of malaria. Uh, actually, he was uh, really in the place where malaria is a uh, real disaster and he studied it just, uh, just in, in nature. Uh, next, uh, Pearson, of course, uh, uh, studied mathematical theory of random migration of animals. Next, uh, uh, Wolkenstein uh, studied the same model uh, he used to study of configuration of statistics of polymers. Uh, next, um, this model can be found in uh, uh, migration in motion of microorganisms, in uh, crystallography, and uh, many, many other things. Uh, what's new of this very old uh, model? You know probably uh, that random work uh, is uh, usually study, uh, studied in lattices. But here we would like to have uh, any direction, any angle, and uh, when we study this problem according to previous researches, we obtain generalized translation instead of regular shift. And uh, since uh, this, from this point of view, uh, this problem have never been studied, we decided to do it. So, uh, if we uh, uh, saw the uh, technique which Pearson uh, used and Relay used, uh, we can understand that we have uh, really uh, hard work because they used, uh, you know, uh, direct calculation using series uh, by in paper. Uh, without computers and this calculation was uh, uh, very hard uh, and now it is uh, much more better to do it. So what about the model? We have uh, agents A1 etc. AS and uh, at the time T0 agent AI have uh, has a position X zero. Then it starts to jump from a center at, and uh, at times t1, etc., tn, it has displacement x1, etc., xn. The resultant is sn. This is the sum. And uh, we would like to find the probability that um, this displacement is uh, less on gra or, gra or equal to some uh, positive value R. And uh, uh, what we have here? We have here for uh, arbitrary real number nu, which is greater than uh, 1, we have this probability. Uh, this probability is written using Bessel function and uh, g small basal function, where uh, g small basal function is a normalized basal function. It is just uh, equal, equals to uh, 1 at 0. So here the uh, probability, and uh, it, uh, uh, we can't see generalized translation in here, but uh, we can see it in the proof. So, 
uh, first of all, we present this probability as this integral, and uh, the uh, inner integral has no limits here. Why? Because uh, here, this value of theta n minus 1 uh, extend all the, the values, uh, which make a model as n less or equal to r. This is uh, our um, what uh, probability we would like to find. So, and uh, how we can uh, write it? How we can write it uh, is uh, uh, the real formula here. Uh, put limits, etc. Here, the interesting thing was used. Uh, it was the Weber Schaffer Heitlin integral of the form 3. It can be found in many papers, for example, in book of Watson and it's uh, also in the paper of Van Steen. It can be found with uh, uh, proof. And uh, this integral can be used in our model. So we can rewrite it in uh, this form for our goal and we can see that it is equal to 1 when uh, this uh, displacement is less or equal to r and uh, it is uh, equal to zero this then this displacement is greater than r so we can use it uh, what next next we put it to our formula and here we can obtain that uh, theta n minus one can be from zero n in this form and uh, what next next uh, when we put all a uh, length of each jump is equal to l we obtain this formula and uh, here we can do very simple exchange of variables and but this formula is very important this formula is number eight and uh, we will talk about this formula later. Uh, what is connection with the classical things? Uh, for nu, which is equal to 2, uh, it is just result of Pearson relay model. So um, uh, nu here means that uh, migration is uh, on the plane. Next, uh, we can see Kluver model, uh, and uh, when nu is equal to k, and k is natural number, uh, we obtain Watson model. And the Watson idea was that the k is the uh, uh, dimension of space where agents uh, are uh, where agents do their jumps. But um, we were interested in the case when nu is not natural number and uh, we, we wanted to understand uh, does it mean something or not? How it is possible to understand it? First of all, we should understand is this work, is this model really working model? how it is possible to understand it. We uh, use here uh, so-called simulation models. So my co-author here, uh, Alexander Vladimirovich Kuznetsov, uh, wrote programs which simulated according not to formulas, not to analytical formulas, but uh, you know some uh, uh, rules of jumping of when agent just jump in without analytical formulas and we started to um, uh, consider probability uh, analytical and uh, his probability which he obtained in his model and we surprisingly, uh, surprisingly understand that the probability practically the same it was very uh, strange for us because uh, for us this integral model looks very uh, hot and uh, the 
idea that it is really will be true when we use simulation, it was uh, very strange for us, but it is so. Here, uh, the description uh, of the multi-agent model which uh, he done, so he have uh, all these things in his simulation models, uh, simulation model, the uh, same uh, set of agents and uh, different uh, lengths. And he uh, asked me to understand what uh, is uh, the uh, what is the parameter will be uh, uh, will be uh, play role of speed, and we found it in uh, Formula mm -hmm. Eight. Uh, and next, uh, the goal was to understand what does it mean fractional or not integer, uh, not integer mu here in this model. So uh, this uh, model is very uh, useful in different things and very applicational. And uh, here we have uh, the description and uh, the example of uh, work. Of course, this is it should be animation, but uh, here it is just a picture. And uh, the code of this program can be found in this uh, mm. link. And uh, he used NetLogger uh, system and uh, for calculation, you know, we should calculate a lot of integrals, uh, which uh, which have uh, a lot of basic functions. So we used here just um, ordinary uh, instruments, which uh, we can find in Wolfram Mathematica and uh, MATLAB. But uh, of course, we should write our own program for it because uh, these instruments are uh, not really nice for this uh, task. And uh, next, uh, we consider uh, uh, two models, isotropic and anisotropic model. Uh, isotropic model means that uh, the agent, agents can move to any direction without uh, preference uh, of the direction. This model is isotropic. And the next model, anisotropic, when we have some restriction for the angle, for the angle on the flat, on the plane, or uh, to the angle in the uh, space. So this uh, model called anisotropic. Here are two pictures of uh, isotropic model, and uh, this uh, case when uh, agents move along the uh, O, Y axis. It means, for example, for animals that uh, they found some direction uh, through the river or something like that. Um, next, we consider this uh, um, simulation, so called probability. It is just number of agents divided to uh, M and uh, uh, here we consider first uh, m uh, equal to two and three, and uh, it it is it means that we consider in our analytical model new is equal to two and three respectively. And first uh, goal of this was uh, to understand what does it mean uh, speed here. Here we uh, we used this you know, you know. Mm, uh, uh, these formulas to understand how close uh, our theoretical model to our simulation model. And uh, here we obtain uh, these results. When new is equal, here the analytical probability and here the uh, simulation probability in uh, uh, the plane and here in the space. And uh, we can see that uh, when we compare to uh, such models, we can see that it is quite well fit. So, um, and uh, also, we, uh, you know, we have 
uh, here uh, depending on time in our model it is n and here it is t and probability here and another we have here radius r and probability it is clear that um, when uh, when agents uh, then time uh, is uh, became when time becomes larger uh, when probability is less because agent just move from this area and uh, when uh, radius is larger the probability is uh, bigger because agent just uh, their uh, area is very big here uh, uh, we found here this coefficient we can uh, which means that our models uh, is quite well because this coefficient should be close to one here uh, three-dimensional uh, representation here we have time and here we have radius it is just to understand uh, the general situation which was presented in the previous picture uh, in the uh, two dim dimension next what next um, here uh, we can see the different speeds and also we uh, if we uh, change this parameter v in formula 8 we obtain this uh, also good approximation next uh, um, here we have the same uh, result but uh, here uh, probability depend on t uh, time and uh, here uh, depend on radius and we can see not really nice things here um, we do not know for this moment does it mean does it sense or not uh, and uh, here we can see our uh, measure of um, uh, mistake and uh, what next next uh, we take different values of new but here it, it looks like v but it is new here and we can see when new is greater than uh, one and less than two we obtain also a good approximation and it means that uh, we have here restriction uh, mm. to the angle it means that ag agents uh, should move not uh, to all uh, different direction uh, but they prefer one uh, uh, direction and uh, it is uh, measured by angle this pre preferable direction so this uh, this is meaning of our new which is parameter of our generalized translation and which is parameter of our basal operator uh, the same picture but here we have uh, also not very nice uh, uh, points uh, but uh, for obtaining uh, these results uh, we should uh, we done a lot of experiments uh, hundreds of experiments and uh, uh, they were very slow because it is was done in our home computer and it, it took uh, uh, weeks to obtain this uh, simulation results. But of course, it is very fast to obtain uh, uh, analytical results. And here also uh, Alexander Vladimirovich study uh, uh, correspondence between nu and alpha, parameter nu in basal function and alpha, the angle. Of course, it is not possible to, uh, for now, to get it analytically, but he found a good approximation of this form. Uh, and uh, 
is it possible to obtain analytical formula or not we will look uh, later for this and uh, here we have some compress uh, com comparison uh, table uh, here we can see the calculation and uh, uh, this model which I found and uh, which we uh, considered is uh, this model has a lot of applications and uh, when uh, we uh, gave talk uh, in uh, uh, different conferences uh, there are a lot of uh, people uh, who are interested in this model from the applicational point of view because it is uh, there are a lot of problems which need analytical model instead of uh, simulation model because simulation is uh, very hard to do so uh, i hope we will continue this study and obtain uh, another results about generalized translation and the application of this beautiful theory to the uh, uh, problems which are closed to real life problems thank you for your att attention Thank you very much for the interesting talk and we have quite some time for questions hello uh, could you do you hear me yes uh, so uh, could you say something about uh, the spread of epidemics you said you mentioned it could be applied yes it could be applied but uh, we should have uh, uh, something like real data and uh, you know it is a very big problem to understand which data are real because in uh, every city in every country uh, data about epidemic uh, actually about covid epidemic collected by uh, their own way and is it possible to combine it or not we do not know but of course uh, we can uh, somehow apply it to uh, epidemic uh, to spread of epidemic because it is also some kind of diffusion problem yes uh, probably we will do it in the next time thank you yes please what do you mean by the preferred direction does it mean that you just keep it to yes yes uh, agent uh, in simulation model agent just can't uh, to turn to the angle which is uh, larger than presented for example here uh, you know it is angle from the one direction but of course it is radial symmetry uh, to the another direction also so this 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 means preferable direction here further questions please mm -hmm. if there aren't any left then let's thank the speaker once again. <laughs>